You have been asking about a diabetic diet that will reverse diabetes and cause lots of weight in short amount of time and keep it off, right? Hi, I am Dr. Ahmed Ergen. I specialize in endocrinology, diabetes, and metabolism. I practice in Florida, but I am passionate enough to help everyone in the world who struggle with diabetes and weight loss or weight problems. Now, according to a new study, it's called Newcastle University of Study, not too new actually, it's been a while, but I still consider it relatively new, people reversed their diabetes on this diet, and then they maintained a healthy weight while remaining diabetes free. That sounds like a cliche or too good to be true, but I challenge you to put me to the test on this diet. We are launching a new program where you join the program and if you are eligible to join the program, you can be anywhere in the world. This is not only restricted to United States residents, but you will be able to reverse diabetes. Again, if you fit the criteria, you will be able to reverse your diabetes within three months. And that's a program where we promise you that we will bring your A1C in a non-diabetic range within three months. If you're interested, you will need to go to our website at sugarmds.com and take the survey. If you're eligible, you will be part of this dream and we will help you reverse your diabetes. We are going to provide you everything from coaching, the diet instructions, the diet choices, supplements. We are gonna give you all the supplements for free. We are gonna provide you a diabetes coach as part of this program, just go and check the program right now. And I will talk to you about, in this video, a few details about this diet. You can go on a keto diet as well, but the main diet I recommend is Newcastle diet, and today what I'm talking about. But keto diet will be optional in this program. So yes, I will tell you about this Newcastle diet in detail today, and I promise, if you applied this diet and took your supplements, not only you will lose a lot of weight, but you will become diabetes free. And you will maintain your weight as well, and you will keep the diabetes away. I will only talk about signs. I'm not going to just do some bluff and made up by some crook or diet guru or anything. It is all tried, tested, and proven. The researchers discovered that even patients who have had type 2 diabetes for up to 10 years can reverse their condition with this diet. Now, the research was published in Diabetes Care, which is one of the most prestigious diabetes journal. The study adds to a growing body of evidence demonstrating that people with type 2 diabetes who successfully lose weight can actually reverse their condition because fat is removed directly from their pancreas in this diet. Not every diet does that. This diet also helps you restore the insulin production to normal. So if you have watched my previous video on how diabetes occurs, etc., you would know that the fat accumulation around your organs, especially around your pancreas and liver, is the primary driver of insulin resistance and diabetes. As a result, fatty liver is extremely common. How does this diet aid in the reversal of diabetes, then, right? Well, again, a study published in 2011 showed that diabetes could actually be reversed by a very low calorie diet. Now this sparked an international interest. The first study was only eight weeks long and the question of whether the diabetes would go away remained unanswered. They repeated the study with a larger group of patients and confirmed that the diabetes reversal was actually maintained in the long term after this diet. In the first study, 30 type 2 diabetes volunteers followed the same diet of 800 calories per day. Now, participants lost an average of 14 kilograms, which is around 30 pounds, in eight weeks and did not gain any weight over the next six months. Now, many people in this group had diabetes for a long period of time, defined as more than eight years, up to 23 years. But in total, in the first study, the shorter study, 12 out of 30 patients with diabetes for less than 10 years had their condition reversed. They were diabetes free after six months. Although the volunteers remained overweight, a little bit obese maybe, they had lost enough weight to remove the fat from the pancreas and allow the pancreas to resume its normal function to make insulin. 
I would say that we are not trying to make you look like a model here, right? Our goal is to get rid of enough weight to return your metabolism to normal. Now, in this study, they also demonstrated that it is possible to reverse the diabetes even if you have had it for a long time, typically up to 10 years. So while it may not always completely reverse diabetes in everyone, if you have had diabetes for more than 10 years, for example, it will still significantly reduce the amount of medications you use, or you may maintain your diabetes control or put your diabetes into remission using supplements alone. And if you have had this diagnosis for a long time, like 20 years, 30 years, don't give up hope. You know, significant improvement in blood sugar is very, very possible. If you are still having trouble achieving completely normal blood sugars, you know that you can actually rely on sugar MD advanced glucose support, which is composed of special extracts from vegetables such as bitter melon, fenugreek, curcumin, etc., that are at very high concentrations. That will help your pancreas resume its normal function, and you can always take it with every meal to ensure that your blood sugar does not budge. We even have something called Super Berberine for Berberine fans that includes dehydroberberine, which is more bioavailable form of berberine, and we also have pure Salem cinnamon in a 10 to 1 concentration. Now, back to the study. Study also answered a question that people frequently ask me. If I lose weight, can I keep it off? Will I be diabetes free for a long time? And the simple answer is yes. It is worth noting that despite the fact that all of our volunteers on that study were overweight or obese and they had fat in their pancreas but their pancreas was not totally dead, this lends the credibility to our theory of personal fat threshold. Now what is personal fat threshold? Diabetes is triggered when a person gains more weight than they can tolerate. But if they lose the amount of weight, it returns to normal. And everybody's threshold is different. So if you load your car, for example, with a ton of weight, like a ton, a real ton, try to pull that car, it's going to be super heavy and hard, right? Your car will begin to heat up and even stop. Now, when you remove that excessive weight, your car may resume normal operation. Now, I know the size of your engine matters in terms of how much weight you can pull, and that's exactly the genetics. And how much you tolerate, how much weight you can put on before you become diabetic, is totally genetics. Some people gain, you know, 5, 10 pounds and they become diabetic. Some people gain 100 pounds and they are still normal. Now, they will become probably insulin resistant, but they may not develop diabetes right away. So the bottom line is people differ in how much weight they can carry without that weight affecting their metabolism. Remember, 70% of severely obese people do not have diabetes. Bottom line is that if a person truly wants to be free of type 2 diabetes, they can. They can lose that weight, keep it off, and turn to normalcy. All you have to do is follow those dietary instructions that we will share with you, we will work with you, we will provide you free supplements, provide you free education, and get your diabetes free in three months. Again, this is great news for diabetics who are extremely motivated to lose weight, right? Unless you just want to don't change anything, that's a different story. Then don't become part of this program, right? And it may not be for everyone too. Like, so if you're a carnivore, you will not be able to get onto this new cancel diet. I would say a carnivore will probably literally pass out even looking at this diet, okay? But remember, it is all in our head. You can do if you put your mind to it. And if you are totally keto person, we can work with that in our program. Now, back to the details of the study. Participants in this study had type 2 diabetes ranging from, again, like 6 months to 20 years. The researchers demonstrated that type 2 diabetes can actually be reversed in people who have had it for over 10 years. So, a patient, for example, James, that person was in this study, 6-year-old man from Sunderland, transformed his health by participating in that study. Now, what he said was, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes around May 2011 during routine check with his primary care doctor. Now, the family and he was in shock because he had no physical symptoms whatsoever that led him to believe that he had the condition. He then said, I wasn't fat on the outside, but obviously I was fat on the inside. I have since had a scan of my liver and the fat around it was so clearly visible. 
He says, I participated in the study for eight weeks on an 800 calorie a day diet, which was extremely difficult over the Christmas, he says, or even in the New Year's and so forth. But he says, I was determined to finish it. And he says, for me, the payoff, the possibility of reversing diabetes was well worth the effort. He lost 35 pounds, which is 16 kilos, in two months, and his pancreas was functioning normally. He says, I haven't even looked back since my diabetes went into remission. He says, I eat normal foods now, although I eat less than I used to. And he says, I enjoy some takeaways, some chocolate on, on occasion, but not on a regular basis. So he says, I have kept my weight down, and it's been a total lifestyle change. In fact, this research has completely transformed my life, he said. Now, let's talk about the diet itself. So it's basically three diet shakes per day, 240 grams or three cups of non-starchy vegetables. You consume that daily for eight weeks. Spices are allowed, but cooking oils or butter are not. Now, two weeks after the diet is completed, which is a total of eight weeks, you return to normal eating, the normal food, but with very specific instructions on how much to eat. And over the next six months, if you want to continue to be in the program, you can be seen you know, less frequently. Instead of once a week, you can be seen once a month to keep you in the weight maintenance program. Please visit sugarmds.com to speak with our diabetes coach about implementing this program right away and see our educator once a week to stay on this diet and your supplements. Now, to maintain the weight after losing weight, you eat about one-third less than before you start this program. So, when it comes to vegetables to eat on this diet, you should consume around three to four servings of vegetables per day, and this can be accomplished by eating two vegetable meals per day, for example, such as a homemade soup or salad for lunch, and a stir-fry or roasted Mediterranean vegetables in the evening. Alternatively, you could eat one vegetable meal and two vegetable snacks per day in this program. Again, we are following the study. You should consume at least one serving of green leafy vegetables per day. If possible, you should avoid boiling the vegetables because nutrients are lost in cooking water. You can instead steam, microwave, or roast. Now, a serving of vegetables contain approximately 80 grams which is a good handful for most vegetables or so forth. But you should avoid potatoes, the sweet potatoes, yams, parsnips, avocado, although it's good but not in this program, olives, sweet corn, nuts, seeds, pulses, fruits, coleslaw, potato salad, and other similar foods should totally be avoided. Again, avocados and nuts are not bad for you, but they are prohibited in the study for the first eight weeks of this diet. You can and should use the herbs and spices for flavoring because otherwise it's going to be too bland. So while on this diet, eating vegetables will provide you some texture, some flavor, some fiber, etc. To avoid the boredom, I would suggest using a variety of vegetables and even add more flavor and taste with herbs and spices and low-calorie sauces such as basil, lemon, and lime juice, and so forth. Now, between the week one and eight on this diet, during the first phase of the study, what they did was the total daily intake was only 800 calories. Now, in my practice, I discovered that a liquid diet consisting of low-calorie complete nutrition meal replacement shakes combined with a portion of non-starchy vegetables to make up the daily calorie total was the most effective in my experience and in this study as well. Now, in the Newcastle diet, it recommends that the Optifast shakes are, you know, the recommended replacement, meal replacement shake, but you can use any shake basically as long as they are less than 200 calories or less per shake. In the United States, I recommend SlimFast, for example, or something similar. You'll have to pay attention that it has around 15 to 20 grams of protein and less than 15 grams of total carbs per shake. They usually include vitamins, but to be safe, I also recommend using Sugar MD Dia Vitamin to prevent the vitamin deficiencies on this diet. Now, it is available on sugarmds.com, but if you are part of this study, you will get this supplement for free as well. Now, it is important not to abruptly increase the amount or intensity of your exercise during this first eight weeks because your body will be adjusting to the new calorie restriction. For the first eight weeks, alcohol should also be 
always avoid it. Now you can drink as much tea or coffee as possible if you want, preferably black, but a splash of skimmed milk is permitted in this diet. Between the weeks 9 and 12 of this diet, most people will lose a lot of weight. It's going to be a very significant amount. And after this eight weeks of calorie restriction, we will begin you to reintroduce an evening meal in place of that meal replacement shake that you'll be tired of possibly by then. Now, this meal will consist of a lean protein such as chicken or salmon and a non-starchy vegetable with a total caloric intake of no more than 500 calories. And that's after the eight weeks. If you have been able to maintain your weight after reintroducing one meal a day, you can now incorporate another small meal, which is typically the lunchtime meal, starting in week 11. Again, we don't allow more than 400 calories for that meal. At this stage, you can start exercising again to burn excess calories if you start gaining weight. Make sure to weigh yourself every day to remain on top of any changes on your weight. And we will instruct you to do so if you stay with the program. By week 12, you should be able to substitute a 400-500 calorie meal for your morning meal replacement shake as well. That way you can stay under 1,500 calories for most men and less than 1,200 calories for women to avoid diabetes coming back and staying in diabetes-free condition. Another tip for sustaining success is to adhere to the 75% rule, which means that you're eating three-thirds of what you used to eat in the past prior to starting this program. So what are the side effects or withdrawal symptoms that you may experience when you go on this diet? Well, number one, you may have headaches. Make sure to drink enough fluid. Make sure you use over-the-counter pain relievers if needed, such as Tylenol. And you also may experience some dizziness. Again, you had to drink plenty of fluids. Uh, you may be dizzy when you stand up. Uh, you can season your vegetables with salt. And this is one of the rare instances that I'm like, you can eat salt as much as you want in this diet because you're not really getting a, a lot of food in your diet. So you have to replace your salt. So, and the salt will make things taste better. <laughs> so your vegetables will be much better tasting with some salt and spice. If you are into it, you can use some soy sauce as well. Uh, you can drink some vegetable bouillon, like a stock, twice a day. And if you are taking blood pressure medication, you should consult with your doctor about the salt intake because, you know, some people are salt sensitive and blood pressure may spike. Also, sometimes it is better just to cut the blood pressure pills if you are having dizziness rather than trying to cut back on the salt if that helps you better. And you can also feel tired initially, although that's kind of a little unusual, but it's better to begin the diet when you have no excessive activities planned. After about two weeks, most people report an increase in their sense of well-being and energy, and you can start doing mild activities after that. Now, number four is the hunger, of course, that's going to subside after a few days. Keep your mind off food by going for a walk or doing some homework that you have been uh, putting off. Number five, you may experience constipation. That is largely avoidable by consuming more fluids and eating your vegetables as directed. Uh, now, consume your daily vegetable allowance, uh, make sure you drink plenty of fluids and engage in some light exercise as well to avoid constipation. Now, if constipation persists, you can try some over-the-counter laxatives for a short time, but then you will talk to your gastroenterologist or your doctor if constipation persists. Number six, increased cold sensitivity can happen. Yes, as a result of less body fat, which typically provides extra insulation, that can happen. But what you can do is just drink some hot beverages like tea or coffee or try a soup instead of shake, for example, sometimes. Another thing that some people may experience is hair loss. That's a short-term hair loss. That may be a little thinning for the first two to three months, but taking the sugar MD diavitamin, I think, will definitely help to prevent that. But this short-term hair loss is typically due to a greater number of hairs falling out in, in that stage rather than growing stage. And it's only very temporary, even if it happens. Your hair will definitely will grow back normally in the normal course. Again, to avoid the hair loss at the maximum possible way, we give you a dye vitamin available at sugarmds.com. It's free if you are part of the program. Now, you heard it all now, right? So it's a great diet. It is going to reverse your diabetes and keep your diabetes uh, away. 
you may need uh, some help to achieve this so make sure if you don't want to be on this by yourself and if you want to get the supplements you will definitely need to be part of the program again the value is great so when you look into it you actually pay very minimum extra to be in the program because you're getting a lot of free supplements and coaching and you are guaranteed success if you're eligible in this program again don't delay your dreams it's possible you can do it please share your thoughts on this and input with us so that all community can learn from each other again thank you for watching and have a wonderful diabetes free days to come remember to like subscribe and share this video and we'll see you in the program